All right. So we want to graph a parabola in the form y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. And that is just the formula for what we say is standard form. So standard form is helpful um, in two ways. We have uh, easily can identify the y-intercept. So the y-intercept is why we like standard form. And um, remember, when you want to find the y-intercept, the x value has been 0. So you are plugging in 0, and negative 3 times 0 squared is 0. And 12 times 0 is 0. So that all that leaves you with is the c value minus 5. So the y-intercept of any standard form equation will be 0 c. So the y-intercept in this problem is 0, negative 5. So we can go ahead and plot that. 0, negative 5. So that's a nice ordered pair to always plot, nice and easy. Um, from there, we're going to use the fact that we can find the axis of symmetry. So from before, remember the axis of symmetry, which I refer to as the AOS. The formula is the opposite of B divided by 2A. Remember, A is in front of X squared. So A in this problem is negative 3. And B in this problem is 12. So uh, we find the axis of symmetry. So we're going to plug in 12 for B. So we want the opposite of 12 divided by 2 times A, and our A value is negative 3. So we're going to do our math calculations. So negative 12 divided by negative 6 becomes positive 2. So the axis of symmetry will be when X equals 2. So we'll go ahead and kind of draw that in. You'll have to visualize it. But right here, when x is 2, that's the um, line of symmetry. And the vertex is going to be somewhere on that line. So to find the vertex, I'm going to just create our xy plane. We know the vertex is always in the middle. So we'll go um, 2. And we need to plug it in. So negative 3 times 2 squared plus 12 times 2 Minus 5. Again, I just took this 2 value and substituted it in for the x's in my function. So negative 3 times um, 2 squared. We know 2 squared is 4, so that's negative 12. And then 12 times 2 is 24. And you should be noticing a pattern as you work these out. These um, kind of sometimes are doubled when you are working in standard form. I mean, a minus 5. So negative 12 plus 24, 12 minus 5 gives us 7. So our vertex is going to be at 2, 7. So we'll go ahead and plot that, 2 and 7. All right, so we just need a couple more values. We've already got this one on the left. So now we can use the axis of symmetry um, rule that if we go two towards the axis of symmetry, now we're going to go 2 away. So that makes us 2 to the right, and we'll have a value there. So now we just need um, two more values on each side of the axis of symmetry to graph. So um, we, it looks like we just need to go one away. So 1 to the um, right of 2 will be 3. So we're going to go ahead and plug in 3 to our equation. So when we substitute in 3, we're going to take negative 3 times 3 squared plus 12 times 3 minus 5. And again, I know there's no calculator in the Alex uh, feature, but you're welcome to use calculator on your phone um, or on a website if you uh, need help calculating um, these values. So again, 3 squared is 9. So 9 times negative 3, negative 27. Um, and then we're going to take 12 times 3 is uh, 36. And then we need to minus 5. So it looks like we have 9 we take negative 27 plus 36, and 9 minus 5 will give us 4. So we need to plot the ordered pair 3, 4. So we'll take our pencil, plot 3, there's 3, and 4. Use our axis of symmetry um, to lessen our calculation workload. And we're just going to go one um, to the 
to to the axis of symmetry. So we'll go one away and plot our third, our last point. Connect our um, x's with the the graphing tool, and we've graphed a, a parabola in the form of in standard form. So we'll do one more. So again, we've got standard form. So we want the y-intercept, and we know the y-intercept is zero c. So that's the first thing we're going to pull out, and c is right here, the end of the equation, because it's ax squared plus bx plus c. So our y-intercept is going to be at 0, 5. So go ahead and plot that. Let me go ahead and go to 0, 5. Next up, we want to find the axis of symmetry. So we'll go ahead and remember our formula, our axis of symmetry of formula, and check in your notes. You should be saying opposite of b over 2a. So a, again, is in front of x squared. So we found a to be 2, and b is in front of the x, so that's 8. So we'll go ahead and plug in our values. So that means that x equals the opposite of 8 divided by 2 times 2. So the opposite of 8 divided by 4 gives us an axis of symmetry at negative 2. So that means at negative 2, we're going to be able to have our fold occur. Our parabola is going to fold over that. So now we'll find our vertex. Again, we'll just create our xy graph because we know that our vertex is in the middle. So we'll put negative 2 for the vertex. And we're going to plug that in, substitute it into the equation. So 2 times negative 2 squared plus 8 times negative 2 plus 5. So now we have 4. This negative 2 squared is 4 times 2. So that gives us 8. And then 8 times negative 2 gives us minus 16 and plus 5. 8 minus 16 is negative 8. And we add 5 more, it gives us negative 3. So we're going to want to plot the ordered pair negative 2, 3. I'll go ahead and do that. So we want our vertex at negative 2, negative 3. Okay. We had the y-intercept plotted, so I'll go ahead and um, go 2 to the axis of symmetry. So now I'm going to go 2 away, and that plots that point. So we need um, another value. And again, we could pick 1, uh, or negative 1, negative 3. We can even pick um, 1 if we want. The problem with that is sometimes it goes off the graph if we get too far away from the vertex. So that's kind of why we stay to the right and to the left of the vertex, uh, only one or two values. So I'm going to go ahead and use negative 1 just because that's easy to calculate. So we'll go ahead and put negative 1 into our parabola. So 2 times negative 1 squared plus 8 times negative 1 plus 5. So we've got negative 1 squared, which is 1 times 2. And then we have 8 minus times negative 1, so we need to subtract 8. We're going to add 5. So 2 minus 8 is negative 6, plus 5 more gives us negative 1. So we go ahead and plot negative 1, negative 1. And that is, oh, grab my pen here, pencil. Again, we want negative 1, negative 1. So put our dot there. Now we use the axis of symmetry to graph the other side. Move up. Oh, to the axis of symmetry, one value. So we're going to move away one value. Grab our graphing tool, and we've graphed our parabola for 2x squared plus 8x plus 5. 